Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I so wanted to say that. Um, here we are in our first full week of May. Um, we're getting close to the end of the semester, end of uh, end of the year. Uh, one last project to do is what I'm going to introduce to you this week. So the three things, again, we're going to do in this video. One, how do you stay in contact with me? Two, what did you forget to do last week if you forgot anything? And three, what's happening this week moving forward? We're going to kind of show you the end of the year uh, progression. Stay in contact with me. Follow your learning calendar. Go to the office hours. Remember, the office hours will show you how you can get in contact with me and be able to see me, um, and I can work with you. And some of you are taking more advantage of that as we're getting closer to the end. Here are my hours. Tuesday, Monday and Friday, 9.30 to 11. Nothing's changed there. Tuesday and Thursday, 9 to 11, 1 to 3. Oops. So just a little less time on Mondays and Fridays. Wednesdays, I'm not on here or I'm not on the computer unless you email me and say, can we meet and I'm available. That's your day to get caught up. So I know I can make, I want to make myself available to you. Uh, we have a lot of meetings and stuff on those days, just to give you a heads up. Anytime if you're one of those late workers, uh, you like to work later in the day, um, email me. And if I say that I'm available or I'll give you a certain time period I'm available, uh, always let me know what works best for you. Um, hop onto that link and I'll be available if I email you back. Okay, so what did you possibly miss last week? Well, last week we were finishing up the 2.5 stuff, um, and then, well, almost. This week you're going to finish the rest of it. Um, but you had to turn in your disease tracker, delete, a housekeeping and delete, and then 2.5, which is still the 2.4 file. That's why I wanted you to change your file name with V3 at the end, so I know that you're turning in the persistent data. This is where you're going to start putting together the tiny database on there. And that was last week. This week, you're going to finish up that 2.4 by doing the 2.5 data, where you're going to do a media page. Uh, this one, when you send it to me, when you're finished, put V4 at the end, so I know this is your final version. Um, this is all due by this week, Tuesday. Then you have your catch-up day. And then we're going to get into the end of the week where we're actually going to start our final project. So let me take some time to discuss this final project that you guys are going to be working on. It's under Unit 3. You're going to start by going to the Great App Challenge intro video. Watch the intro video. Nice little video I created. Look at that. Me, 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 me. Me going to explain it. Um, I'm going to go through how to do your presentation. Um, then you're going to go to the next link, which is 3.1 The Great App Challenge. You're going to open up the independent doc that has your name on it. And I explain all this in the intro video. And you're going to work through the whole packet. There's some things you need to answer until you get to the build and test section. Once you get to build and test, you can actually turn in that independent doc. Let me show you. You'll get to turn that in down here under Unit 3 right here. You actually turn it in in the assignment. Okay, That's one of the parts of the assignment that I'm going to be looking at is your independent doc. After that, you're then going to um, work on actually building your app. And when you're done building your app, you're going to submit that final app to me, along with completing the conclusion questions, and you're going to include it into your shared drive. All this information is on here, and all this information is also on Google Classroom on how to turn it all in. So you're going to first do a bunch of prep stuff, some background, some paperwork things to get your, get your mind right on what you're going to do. You're going to build your own app, whatever you choose to create, um, as long as it completes what the independent uh, project idea is in this document, okay? Um, and that's what you're going to have to have done by May 20th. So you have plenty of time. That's going to be your final project to turn it in by May 20th. So I will review this again next week when we start our, we have a review and you keep working. This is going to be your final project. If you're one of those that gets to it, gets it all done next week and you're done, then you're done for the year. That's your final project. But I want to see what you can create from scratch, from absolutely nothing. You're going to build your own app to the final piece, and you're going to share it with us in the, in the shared drive. Shared drive is really kind of cool because in the shared drive, you'll see that you'll put it into one of the blocks. If you're interested in going on MIT App Inventor and downloading this app and playing it on a tablet um, or on your um, own Chromebooks, these are all people's previous apps from earlier this year. So you can check out what they created. It may inspire you 
to create your own stuff. Okay, so that's it. That's what you're working on this week. Uh, contact me if you got any questions so I can help you out. We'll make it through this final stretch. We'll make it strong so we finish good with a, a good passing grade here at the end of the uh, end of the semester. So we'll talk to you later.